Hey, so we're still working on Boolean and we're going to look at how we might go from an actual written statement, so like a, a discussion, um, through to an expression and building that expression into both a truth table and a circuit diagram. So let's start by um, going through a scenario. Okay, so our first scenario is that Frida wants to buy a car. It must be a sports car or it must be red. So we want to find out what is equivalent to her eligible car. So the car is eligible. Um, and we're given a few conditions. It must be a sports car or it must be red. And the operative word there is or. So to be eligible, it must be sporting or red. So let's draw a truth table for that. We've got two variables. We've got S and R. And E is our solution. So we come up with every possible combination of S and R. So I've got binary 0, binary 1, binary 2, and a binary 3. Now I've got S or R. So it's true whenever 1 is true. So, and that's our truth table for Frida. Let's also draw her circuit diagram. So we've got sports car, red, eligible. We've only got two, two inputs and they are connected using an OR. So a nice easy one there. Okay, let's try a slightly harder one. Okay, so here we've got John is not speaking and Mary is speaking, or John is speaking and Mary is speaking. So for a start, I'd probably say it looks like there's two statements there. I'll separate them off. And they're connected with an OR. So we've got John, and we've got Mary, and we've got John, and we've got Mary. So we've really got the two. So it says if John is not speaking, so not John, and Mary is speaking, then we've got our little or, or John is speaking and Mary is speaking is equivalent to, let's just put that as F. Okay, so you just work through the sentence and figure out what the expression should be. So let's make our truth table. Again, we've only got two variables in this one. So we've got J and we've got M. Um, and let's go with all combinations. So we've got 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. And for this one, I'm going to make a not J column as well. So I've got to take the opposite. So that's 1, 1, 0, 0. Then I'm going to do my first set of brackets, which is not J and M. So I'm going to look at these two. And I'm adding, them to, adding the two together. They're only true when they're both true. So we've got false, true, false, false. Then I'm going to have the other set of brackets, which is J and M, which is these two. So ending, looking for them both to be true, which is only true in that last case. And then I OR the two results, so I'm ORing this column with this column to make F, which is false, true, false, true. And if I look at this pattern, 0, 1, 0, 1, it's actually exactly the same as M, so I could have replaced that whole statement with M is equivalent to F. Okay, when you see a pattern like that, you can often simplify. Now we've also got to make this into a circuit diagram, so I'm going to make everything a bit smaller. Okay, I'm going to pop that over there. So we've got John and we've got Mary. So we're not going to use our simplified version, we're going to use our full version. Um, so we've got, let's start with our left bracket. So we've got not J and M, 
Then we've also got J and M, which is that second set of brackets. And then we OR our two results together to produce F. I'm going to give you just one more, and this one's going to be really easy, but it's going to introduce a new logic gate. Okay, so we've got John listens to Bass Hunter, or he eats Fredo Frogs, but he does not do both. Now the OR would imply that we use a normal OR. But with a normal, normal OR, if they are both true, so Bass Hunter and Fredo Frogs, then it's true. But it said here that it can't be both. So we've got this cool thing called exclusive OR. And in a circuit diagram, it's represented with um, the normal OR, but with an extra line out the front. And what it says is it is only true when the two values are different. So if we've got John is equivalent to <clears throat> base hunter, um, and I think that might be the diagram for it in an expression, um, he listens to base hunter or he eats Fredo frogs. So if we have base hunter, Fredo frogs, and John, all combinations, 0, 1, 2, and 3. So an exclusive OR says it's false when they're both false, it's false when they're both true, but it is true when they are different. So we would have had F, B, to John. Okay, so that one is an exclusive OR. So it is false when they're both the same as each other and true when they are different to each other. All right, I think that pretty much does it on the statements. Um, obviously, the more complex a statement, the more nutting out it takes, but that's a good challenge for you. All right, thanks for listening.